Hi, I'm Noobal Soup. If you've seen the trailer, welcome back. If you just got here, welcome. Jeepers. Uh, GTA Online is huge. The things you can do, all the cool stuff. You can make friends. And the cars alone. Oh, wow. That's like an episode for each car, if I would like to. Uh, I'm not gonna do that, though. This is an introduction to GTA 5 Online. Or GTA 5, if you wish. Because I sincerely suggest you maybe you should check out the single mode campaign player thingy. Because it's educational and it's fun. Hello, Trevor. Dude, Trevor. Lamar. Oh, Lamar is my hero. Never shuts up. I love that guy. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can do something serious about this. And head straight on to episode one. Tips and tricks and what to do and what not to do on GTA 5 Online. You're welcome. The first thing that happens when you fire up GTA Online is you're gonna have to design your own character. And you will, because it's fun. It's stupid. You're gonna look like crap, is the way it is. And then they're gonna ask you, do you like to skip the tutorial? Don't skip the tutorial, because if anything, anytime in the game you suddenly feel like, oh, I don't know where I am, I don't know where I'm going, I don't know what I'm doing, the tutorial is gonna tell you, well, now is the time to drive to the S. Now is the time to repaint your car. Now is the time to, to go to search for something or, or rob a bank or something. Quite useful, quite useful. So don't skip the tutorial. The first thing that happens when you get off the plane on LSIA is that my boy Lamar is going to go pick you up. And he's going to talk. A lot. And it's basically funny. It's funnier if you play the solo campaign because he's just adorable. He's gonna tell you things and he's gonna give you a gun. That's the gun you will have until you get a new one. That means money. You have to pay money to get a new gun. That's not important right now. Man, dog, I'm glad you're here, man. It's all kinds of opportunities in Los Santos. And he's gonna invite you to a race. You're gonna race him and you're gonna win. You get a chance to check out the street cars because the the cars you can choose from are basically the street cars. No good, but it's good to know. I d I'm not really sure if you can press R to 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 replay the race, but for some reason I always pick the wrong car, but I always win, so I never get the chance to see if I can actually do the race again. Lamar is gonna tell you also that his boy Gerald needs help. You're gonna go to a certain place where you are gonna get the drugs and bring them to Gerald. Perfect opportunity. Drive a car to the place and how to shoot people. The NPCs in this game, some of them are really good, so you're gonna have to learn a few tricks. Like, for instance, roll, and hide, and headshots. Really that simple hide behind stuff and your health goes up faster and also NPCs and maybe other players cannot shoot you because you're hiding behind something makes sense and you're gonna practice roll because if you got auto aim if you're rolling the NPCs or the players will not have auto aim on you they can still shoot you but they will not shoot you where they want to shoot you because they they can't focus on this specific body part or whatever, you know. So practice roll, hide, and headshots. Practice headshots. You want to go for the head. That's what it is. After that, Lamar is going to ask you to rob a store. And this is quite useful. You can rob a store, any store in the entire game. I think there's 20 of them. If you rob 20 stores in the game, you get a reward. This is useful information because when you're a new beginner, you have no money. Robbing stores, that's money. Okay, simple as that. You go to this place, aim the gun at the uh, store manager, shoot the bottle on the shelf, don't shoot him. He'll die, you get no money, basically. After you rob the store, cops are gonna be on you. 
so you're gonna have to learn how to hide from the cops. Just get away from them. Hide in a tunnel. Go to some place very secluded, somewhere really far off, up in the mountains, in the in the forest, whatever. And also, I suggest before you rob the store, maybe you should buy some snacks, just one buck each, and they might be just very helpful. And then Hello. Simeon, our car dealer, is gonna call. He's gonna tell you he's gonna do you a favor. In return, you owe him forever. Steal a car, find a nice car, get it upgraded for free at LSC, any LSC. So roam around the map, find a car of your liking and see if you can steal it and own it. If it's too nice a car, like a supercar, you can steal it but you cannot own it. That's a problem. So find a yeah, any small size sedan might work, might do the trick. There are a few options. I chose the muscle car for some reason. It's not the best car. It's the coolest car in my opinion. Uh, anyway, uh, so you go to Los Santos and mostly decorative things you can do for free, Los Santos uh, customs, because you're in this for the money basically, so uh, that means don't pay money to fix the car. You will be able to do that later on when you have the money to do that. And also, most things are locked. You can't do an anything. It's just decorations, like respray it, repaint it. And after this, Gerald's gonna call you again to see what you're made of. So he's gonna ask you to go to uh, last team standing and fight other new beginners. As you can see, it's up to eight guys. You're gonna have to try to kill each other, see what happens. And as you can see, the other guy is also a new beginner, but I know what to do. He hasn't got a chance. So, that said, this was actually the first episode on tips and tricks and what to do and what not to do on GTA 5 Online. Hmm, we made it. Cool. Stick around. There might be an episode too. This is Noobal Soup out.